as we were watching, Kat said, No Face is just one of the most tragic characters I've ever seen. And I looked at her like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, might be, I might be a little bit with Joe on this one, but I get, I get where you're... I think I get where you're coming from, Kat. We'll, sure. we'll see. Yeah. All right. Talk about No Face. Okay. No Face is so <laughs> lonely. <laughs> the octaves just went... <laughs> He's so lonely. <laughs> and it kind of breaks my heart that he's, you know, clearly like not kind of invited to be with the cool kids, but he has this lonely spirit existence where nobody wants to talk to him. Nobody makes eye contact with him. There is a part where he's on the bridge and in the very beginning when Chihiro's holding her breath to try to not be spot by the other spirits um, when she's with Haku, she makes eye contact with him. And he follows her gaze for a bit. But it's like she is the only one actually looking at him. Everybody else ignores him. He makes this connection with her. And he sees like, okay, all of these people love gold. So I I have this, this debt to repay to my new friend, my only friend, because I have nothing and nobody, that I'm going to try and give her gold. And she doesn't want it. And he's just like, I just wanted to give you something because you know, it's just like, I want you to like me. And... And I like you and you're the first person who has liked me, you know, and, and she doesn't want to take it. And, and it just tears him apart. And I think it's so sweet at the end that he ends up getting taken on by Zaniba. And it's like, you just need something or somebody to be with. And even says where he starts vomiting all the things mm -hmm. <laughs> after she gives him the river spirit medicine. He says a few times, like, I'm so lonely. <laughs> I'm just so lonely. And I, it just makes me so sad. So what you like so much about No Face is... He's a stalker. He's a creepy stalker, dude. If if you walked a bridge, you looked at somebody's eyes and then just kept walking and then that guy started following you everywhere you went and was like offering you all kinds of gifts after you're like, no, I'm good. And he kept pursuing and pursuing. You wouldn't be like, no, oh, you're so cute. You'd be like, get this fucking guy away from and me. And listen, I've been there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not pleasant. It's not, but I didn't say that I love him. You said he's the most <laughs> tragic I said, character and in And I still film. feel that way. I feel like he's super, super tragic. There's something so sad. There's something deeply, deeply sad about his character. Get a life, loser. Jesus. <laughs> is, there, is there a reason for yeah, him to that's... be ostracized? I don't know. And that's kind of something that has never been explained to me either. And I, yeah. I find it super fucking creepy that he doesn't have a face, so he kind of wears a mask on it. And when he gets really, really big, he ends up having a mouth. Mm -hmm. And hair. Like the first thing he tries to give her are those bath tokens mm -hmm. that she doesn't accept for some reason. I didn't understand her reluctance to accept anything from him outside of like, it's just to show how innocent she is. She's pure. She's not like greedy. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, like, all right, he's handing you some gold. <laughs> he's handing you the bath tokens, yeah. I think you're onto something with the greed thing, especially because mm -hmm. that comes up so much. There's yeah. there's a lot of things that, you know, greed equals bad mm -hmm. uh, that you that you see as, as ramifications of, of actions, especially with no face. This is one of the conflicting notes that I have between my first go around with this and this new one. So mm -hmm. the first go around, I wrote everyone's vilifying Chihiro for letting no face in but like how is she supposed to know that he's a monster and like uh Yubaba's like you shouldn't let a no face in blah blah it's like how the fuck is she supposed to know? like kind of like what you were talking about yeah. earlier Kat but this time around I was like why would she let him in like just a <laughs> creepy spirit in the dark in the rain just kind of like standing there staring and she's like you want to come in no dude like I think it's probably because they're all creepy to her they're all monsters you know well that I had I had Joe's thought too of like when she let him in I was like because this is still at the point where she's a very naive person like and not naive like oh I'm in a weird place I don't know stuff she just doesn't know like what soap is sometimes it seems like <laughs> certain things you know like she doesn't know how to clean like she can't pick up a piece of coal like yeah so then there's just a guy standing in the rain staring at her and she's like hey I'm just gonna leave the door open for you and what Kat said earlier like she made eye contact on the bridge mm -hmm. which I had forgotten about so that gives that a little leeway for she yeah. actually does recognize him from earlier yeah so I was like okay that makes sense. Otherwise, it's like this creepy stalker is like, 
I don't know. Just out in the rain. If they had a yeah. different music, it could be cut up as like a horror movie, I think. It's like Scream. Oh, it's totally like yeah. Scream or something. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Thanks for watching that clip from the Anime Movie Podcast. Follow the links in the description below to hear full episodes, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun clips like this.